my awesome people, Skylark here, and welcome back to Salt. We are on our awesome island we found here yesterday, or last episode. I don't know if these are coming out back to back, who knows. But, today I have gathered the materials for our new sword. Yes, we're going to be making a moon rock sword. These are actually pretty easily crafted. You just need to have the materials. Moonrock shards. I found two more moonrock um, last night. Plus uh, one hardwood log yields a moonrock sword. And we're going to craft one. Bang. Alright. I will take those back. And then... We will, once I find it, okay, this is, we don't need that, I want that one. So we'll set this as our number two. Yeah, look at that. High quality stuff right there. Alright, now I was going to explore the immediate region. So, this island, oop, this island over here, I'm just going island hopping one island over, so, raise the sail, so I'm not particularly worried about taking the big vessel, I put it in the uh, little harbor we discovered yesterday, that went pretty well, fit in there rather nicely, plenty of space, we have actually have space for about two more large boats in there, exactly how many large boats are left in this game. Alright, so, map overview. There are definitely spiders on our lovely little sanctuary here. But that's the, uh, we don't want to go to that island, we've been to that island before. Let's turn around, let's go over here. A little bit too far. Good thing I checked the map. We were heading south there. Alright. We're going to head probably to about 11 or 12 east. Uh, that is a, going to be about the farthest we've traveled in any direction at this point. Uh, the island we just discovered up until this point was... Hey, see the, see the ship in there. Alright, so this is a little bit farther than I expected, but not too bad, actually. Crank them over here. Eh, I'm not sure which one seems closer. <laughs> They're all about the same. Uh, let's pick one. Pick one. That's just how you do it. Let's go take a look at this flag. We got our shiny new sword. Wow, that's two merchants. Okay, that's cool. out the old save game. Where is the merchant hut? The uh, lovely sound effect of da 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 will play once we find it, of course. It's probably on the exact opposite side of this island. I can... Oh, oh, we got treasure here too. Alright. The, uh... I have to let my... Stamina recharge before I start digging. Oh, missed. Stand right on top of it this time. Come on, there we go. Treasure Island cache discovered. What do we got in here? Rough ruby, 72 gold coins. I have a lot of gold coins right now. Which, uh, almost 1600. Come on, where is this merchant? They're usually on the edge of the islands. There it is. Okay. Let's stand right in the middle here. Plot this on the map. 13 east, 3 north. So, 1, 2, 3, around this. And then... 13. 11, 12, 13. And we have a... Merchant here. Alright, let's see what this guy has. We have some 
We have some money we can burn through if we find anything particularly interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey, guy. Just a common short bow. Find one of those. A lot of nothing there. We'll however take a painting. Quite nice of you. I did pay 200 gold for that painting. I didn't steal it. If you didn't catch that when it popped up. Okay. There we go. We're doing pretty good here. We're in a pretty good situation. I do say so myself. Just in the process of collecting it more resources eventually we're going to run into the uh, maiden quest which is the uh, very large vessel and we need in excess of a hundred logs for that we need 120 20 of them are hardwood we have those 28 of them right here we should be yeah, real close to 50 more resources around here. Got some plant fibers, some more wood logs. Probably a few more plant fibers, a few more logs around here, and then uh pretty much good to go. I'll take a hardwood log. Despite my only ha Despite my rather large collection of 28 of them, I will not say no to them. They're a little bit too valuable. Suppose we could uh, check on what's the next island over. Hop on in. Raise the sail. Get out the fishing pole to make the trip worthwhile. Okay, I saw a hardwood log, alright? I, I need to collect them. Of course, now I can't find it. It was over here somewhere. I need to eat. Okay. There it is. Don't know if that's for sure the one I was looking at, but... That's totally cool sword out in case of pirates. A little, a little worried about that still. So we are on an island with a ship like right next to it, so it would only stand to reason. Uh, there we go, there's, there's pirates. The question is how quickly can I take them out with this new sword here? Ooh, 29. That's pretty good critical. Another hard little log. It's not the only pirate. Ooh, I want to take those. Take these other logs over here. Make one more uh, skim around the island here. However, I do want to put this one on the map. 12 east, 5 north. So here's 5 north, 11, 12. There's a ship on this one. Alright. Not doing too bad. We're getting a lot quicker with the updating of the map, and it is quite helpful. Because it's pretty easy to get turned around when the sun is, you know, straight up. You know, which way's north? I of course do have compass, but I'm not really using that very much right now. There's not much of a need to with the map and having a general idea of what my bearing is. It's it's not too bad. Not a whole lot on this side of the island. Not a hard one log. It makes like 30 or 31 or 32 now in my inventory. Probably find a uh, way to make a chest here and put those in. It's a 
That was in the chest. Keep moving around. I still have to read through a lot of books, and I think I'm going to do that off camera because some of them aren't going to be particularly interesting. On the other hand, some of them will be quite helpful because we have yet to really start a main quest line style quest. Those generally, I don't know if those are triggered by reading a book or not because there's a certain island type or feature that kind of dictates that. At any rate, I don't want to divulge too much. It's all a very interesting story in the end. Let's just, uh, I think we're done with this island for the most part. Somehow my, oh, never mind. I thought my boat was <laughs> conveniently washed up. Let's grab this last log over here. Take a look over this hill. Don't see anything. So we can head over to that other island and then I think we'll head back. There's still a whole other island over there. So let's look that up. See what's going on over there. At least uh, take a skim around and see if there's anything interesting happening on it. Pretty steep looking terrain. Nothing completely crazy though. Bye bye island. <laughs> I just like, re I really do like looking at this map. It just, you know, kind of a lays out where I've been. You know, like down over here, and then went up over here, back through here, up and around. I don't know how long I'll remember my more or less route I've taken to all these islands, but. Alright, what are the chances we find a pirate on this island? Pirates on this island. A fair number of resources, so it might not be a bad island to explore just for on a resource standpoint. My main holding feature right now, you know, is well, I really do want the maiden, it's such a nice ship, supposedly. But it's it's mainly logs I need, just regular logs, so. Go up on here and take a look at this island. Run around, take a skim over. Ooh, that was a little rough. Ugh, let me out. I have no idea on how many pirates might or might not be on here, so... Keep out the fancy new sword. Let's see, there's some plant fibers down here. I saw one more log before the before the grass rendered, but not a big deal. Okay, what do we have up here? Big folder. Take that. Anything else on this little part of the island? Doesn't really seem so deer over there. Not that that really matters too much to us. We have plenty of food. Man, good height here though. Good view. That's definitely for sure. Looks like this is a pirate free island. Pretty nice. Nice change. We've run into an awful lot of civilization over the last episode here. So, keep an eye out for stuff, but Here, grab this. I don't even know why I'm bothering collecting weak holders anymore at this point. I have an overabundance of flint, which I really only should be using for starting fires really at this point. I need to put some time and energy into becoming a little bit more armored, in case you're wondering. I did craft a uh, white deer hide cloak. I provide a little bit more armor for relatively cheap. Okay. I'm not seeing 
a whole lot more other than just the basic resources you would expect. It's not really going to stop me from collecting them, but I will bring you back in once I am done with this island and we'll head back. Alright guys, we are back on... Well, our awesome island we found. Put away the sword. I picked up two more Moonrock shards. Let's see here. So, yeah, three now. Uh, we don't really need them for much anymore, to be honest, because we have the sword. But one thing I did want to do is dark red. Since I'm starting to use the journal now, I want to add dark red ink to that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? 68 longs, we are getting there. I did want to try and craft before we're done with this episode. Let's see, how do you craft a, a blunt pickaxe is a thing. <laughs> I don't remember how to craft a chest. You might need ironite for that, of which I have none on me. That's annoying. Uh, let's check out that blunt pickaxe again. I'm just curious. On, um, I remember having one be like in a previous playthrough. Let's see, I need that, and I need this. Doesn't really say much. All right. Um, it might be quicker. I don't know. Pickaxe have fi is fine now. It does its job quite well. However, there's a few things we can craft. We can craft sandflower potion. Let's see what that does. Sandflower potion. Puts you in a deep sleep for a duration of time. Okay. We can do with that. What else? We should have a bunch of these craft these into, uh, majority of these into, at least some of them, into health potions. Poison antidote, sure, craft one of those. Or, heck, why not a bunch of those? Let's see now, uh, mushrooms are not an option from what I see. What else is there? Craft one more of those and turn the rest into health potions. There's one more flower type. Well, what's this one? It yields nothing. Okay. Forgot about that. I had that in my inventory. Craft that. Is this. Yep. Poison. Alright. Awesome. So we have that. A couple of things we can do. We can create a bunch of cloth swatches. And that'll pretty much do it for the episode. Thank you for watching, awesome people. And I will see you guys in the next one.